Nothing about school will be typical in the fall for kids, and that's clear after getting our first look at school districts reopening plans this past week. With the coronavirus still a threat, buses, hallways, classrooms, and cafeterias are going to look different. I learned from one teacher how it's a huge change for them, too. Matthew Sedano is a recent graduate of SUNY Oswego and kickstarted his teaching career right at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. I felt kind of prepared, but I also used it as a, like, let's try certain things, see what works, see what doesn't work. So that way, when this is all over, if something works, I'm just going to keep to it. As a high school physics teacher in Jefferson County, he's going to need to stick with that mentality moving into the fall, seeing what works and what doesn't. Carthage High School's reopening protocol, a hybrid plan for both in-person and online learning. I think it's perfect for science um, teachers 100% because I can, like I said, I can do notes while the students are at home. I can do it on a video, send it to them, have them take notes. And then in person, I can focus on labs, classwork, tests and all that. So it's kind of like a flipped classroom, but it's a forced flipped classroom because that's what we're dealing with right now. And Sedano understands the struggles and concerns of his colleagues, parents, and students, but he's optimistic for what he hopes to be a successful school year. All struggling through this together, both students and teachers alike, and really everyone alike too. So just being able to be another support system for a kid is huge. I think if I have the energy and passion with it, the kids definitely will. And if I can make it interesting to them, then they're going to like it even more. Fulfilling his longtime career dream in an unconventional but gratifying way. And to look at your district's plans and others across central New York, just go to lo localsyr.com and click on the back to school link. You can also view them on the News Channel 9 app.